What's up guys, Jay Dilly here. I am back on YouTube. I apologize for the delay. Basically got super busy with work, then um, got really, really sick for a few days, so I was kind of down and out, and then Pokemon Go came out, and we all know how that pretty much went. Uh, haven't really stopped playing it, but I am going to get myself a lot more organized with this YouTube stuff. So basically, today I spent the entire day reorganizing and moving my game room. I moved it out of the small room and into the big room. I did show a brief clip before on what it looks like, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got so far. It is a disaster right now. However, this will be done by tomorrow because I uh, only work nights today and tomorrow, so I'm going to sleep for a bit after work and then get right back into this. But um, I'm going to kind of use this as a staging area, uh, do my videos. Got the uh, NES games right here. Genesis down there. Got some more NES Overflow and then the Super Nintendo games. Got some stuff up there. Got the uh, PS1, PS2, PS3, original Xbox, complete in box Super Nintendo, NES complete in box, a couple uh, GameCube games, a couple 360 games over there, and then N64 complete in box. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty much this for right now, but it's going to get a lot better. I will give you my word on that. So basically, that is what's been going on. I'm going to get on a normal schedule. I'm going to have videos uploaded every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, at some point soon, I will try to get on a schedule where they are actually all at the same time. For right now, though, I'm at least going to try to get them done for you guys, so... Basically, this episode is going to be part one of a two-part special. Um, I'm going to do some off-camera pickups. So basically, within the last month or so, ever since I've gone game hunting the last time, a month and a half, I have picked up quite a few things. I just did not pop the camera on to record it, which does happen from time to time. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight those items. And then I also do have a big announcement uh, coming at the end of Wednesday's episode as well. So, with that being said, you guys definitely want to check that out. Turn on my post notifications and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss that announcement. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, but for the off-camera pickups, today I am highlighting seven things that I got. Um, all these seven items are next-gen related, which is uh, partially why I didn't show them prior. Uh, you know, just popped into GameStop, grabbed them, and popped right back out. So, obviously... You know, no reason to necessarily film myself driving up to GameStop and then driving back. Um, but first, we have Dead Island Definitive Collection. So this is the original Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide. Two complete games. Uh, this game was absolutely fantastic. I still feel it's not as good as Dying Light, but it is still a uh, wonderful game. Um, so yeah, pick, picked that up. Very excited to... Uh, get this going. I do have it installed at least. And then it also does have this new, um, the Retro Revenge, which I'm very excited to try that as well. I have not played that or even seen any video on it. So again, one of my favorite games on the 360. Looking forward to getting back into that. Then we have Assassin's Creed Chronicles. This is the three mini arcade games for, uh, Assassin's Creed, it's the side-scrolling. Um, I don't remember exactly which uh, locations they all are. I know it's like Russia, India, and China, I think. Um, but either way, you know, the game's great. It's, uh, you know, a lot of fun. I did try it out, so I'm uh, excited to go ahead and get this one going as well. It was on my list for a bit, and then it finally uh, dropped back down in price a little bit. So that was kind of nice. Um, next we have... Mighty number nine. There's been a lot of uh, conflicting reviews on this game. I actually liked it a lot. The uh, head guy who did uh, the Mega Man games on Capcom pretty much bailed on Capcom because they didn't want him to do another Mega Man. So he said, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Couldn't use the name Mega Man, so he pretty much did this instead. Um, Deep Silver did technically publish it. Same company as Dead Island, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I know a lot of retro game fans picked this up and um, 
you know, a lot of people like it. Some people don't. It's, you know, very hit or miss. But, uh, you know, so far so good for me. Um, then next, a big one on my list, Resident Evil 5. Um, this is the remastered version for next gen. Uh, includes all the DLC from the 360 PS3 version. Another interesting thing about this one is they did actually change the cover, took Chev off the cover, which I understand because, you know, this is the original cover right here. Uh, most people didn't like her as a character. She was new. Her AI was pretty weak, um, but they did fix the AI, so she actually is helpful now, which is great. Um, graphics look pretty good. They're about the same, but a little bit, you know, cleaned up, so this is a nice thing. Um, August 30th, though, big day because that's when Resident Evil 4 comes out for the 360, and I believe the triple pack with 4, 5, and 6 come out at the same time, so that's... Uh, you know a huge one on my my end and then we have song of the deep song of the deep uh developed by insomniac interesting thing though this was the first game to my knowledge published by gamestop so i'm not sure if they're going to kind of go in that direction or not but it is interesting um 15 bucks for this one 30 for the collector's edition if they still have it in stock later i may go get that Basically, um, you drive around in a submarine and uh, you're actually looking for your father. So it's actually a great game. The uh, graphics and the artwork in this game are fantastic. So uh, definitely recommend it. It's actually in my Xbox. <laughs> uh, definitely recommend this one, especially with it being 15 bucks. Uh, you know, no excuses on that one. Then for the PS4, we're going to jump over there. I got Tales of Zestiria. Uh, most people are familiar with the Tales games. I like to try to pick up some of the cooler uh, PS4 exclusives. I'll be honest with you, have not played it, don't really know much about it, but it was uh, inexpensive at the time when I found it. Um, I did uh, did really like Tales of Graces F and some of the other older ones on the PS3 and prior, so definitely look forward to giving this a chance at some point um namco bandai usually doesn't really mess around with their games and they all end up being pretty good um so you know this was a nice inexpensive find so i was pretty happy to go ahead and pick this up and last but not least valkyria chronicles remastered for the ps4 i did get the uh limited edition steelbook version um no plans right now on opening it. If I do end up wanting to play this, I didn't even beat the PS3 version, but if I do want to play this, I'm just going to buy the standard and leave this one sealed because the uh, Steelbook versions are already uh, already gone. So that was pretty much the idea behind that. Um, so yeah, this is uh, number seven on my list. So, you know, again, we have Valkyria Chronicles Remastered, Tales of Zestiria. Song of the Deep, Resident Evil 5, Mighty Number no. 9, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, and Dead Island Definitive Edition. Very happy to have these in the collection. And like I said, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there will be a new video from me. So stay tuned, turn on those post notifications, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it around. I will have a new video for you guys on Wednesday. All right. Bye-bye.